Let's talk about how to hold a good book club discussion. I visited dozens of book clubs and I keep hearing the same frustration over and over again. We can't sustain a conversation about the book for more than 15 or 20 minutes. So today I'm going to give you some tips on how to have a better, longer, more interesting book club discussion. The first trick is just to get the gossip out of the way up front. A lot of book clubs are social groups and they want to have time to catch up with each other. Maybe you haven't seen each other for the past month. So just allow 20 or 30 minutes or however long is good for your group at the beginning when you're first arriving to sit down, relax, catch up with each other and get some of the chat and gossip out of the way. If you find that it's really hard to sustain a conversation because that gossiping and chatting continues on into the meeting, it may be that you need to diversify your group. Invite some people who aren't part of the inner circle. So a lot of book clubs are designed around a religious organization or a neighborhood or work. And if everybody has those connections, then it's easy to get sucked into discussion about things in your lives outside of the book that you've read. But if you each invite somebody from another part of your life into the book club, you'll have a diverse enough group of people that the thing that binds you is then the books that you've read and not other things that you're drawn to talk about together. The second thing to ask yourselves is whether you're choosing the right books to talk about. Not every book bears discussion for more than 15 or 20 minutes, so maybe you're just choosing books that don't have enough meat to them. This is tricky because books that are really enjoyable and fun and easy to read tend to be the books that we don't have that much to say about when we're finished. Whereas a book that offers some more unique challenges or raises some more interesting issues or just requires more thought and conversation is going to be a book that's going to work better for book club discussion. So think about the books that you've been choosing and whether the kinds of books you've been choosing may be part of the problem. I have another whole video that you can view on how to choose the right books for your book club. So take a look at that as well if you think that's part of your problem. Another suggestion is to actually appoint someone to lead the discussion. And it has to be somebody who really enjoys leading the discussion. So you may find that you have just a couple of people in your book club who actually like doing that. Um, if you want to pass that job around from month to month and everybody agrees on that, that's fine. But don't feel that you have to do that if there are some people who enjoy doing it more and who are better at it. Another thing is to have that person who's in charge of discussion really think through ahead of time some questions that are going to elicit good conversation. I have another whole video on this topic, but I'll caution you here, don't rely on the discussion guides in the back of books. They're not usually very good. And now the hard question, are you with the right book club? If you're really the only one who's reading the books, who's really invested in talking about the books, it may be that what you belong to is a social club where books are the excuse for getting together. There's nothing wrong with that. Keep meeting with that group, have a glass of wine and some conversation every month, but in order to talk about books, you may have to go and look for another book club or possibly create one yourself. If you have other suggestions about how you've gotten your book club to talk more about the books, please post them below and share them with the rest of us. Read on!